Hello students, today we are going to start with the chapter Rational Numbers and Irrational Numbers. Now, very first question arises: what is a rational number? So, the rational number is the number which can be written in the form of P by Q where Q is not equal to 0 and P and Q are co-prime numbers. Now, I hope you all know, you are all aware of what are the co-prime numbers. So, the co-prime numbers are the two numbers whose SCF is 1. Whether it is a prime or not, that hardly matter. If you take the example of eight and nine here eight and nine both are composite numbers this one is composite and this one is composite but together eight and nine both are co-prime numbers then we go for a real number real number is a union of both rational and irrational numbers we can divide the real number into two parts that is rational number and irrational numbers so the real number consists of the two type of numbers that is rational and irrational numbers then we go for what is considered in a rational numbers very first of all we take the integers integers are the set of negative numbers 0 and all positive numbers and the next one is a uh, fractions whatever we take in a fractions that is also included in a rational number the fraction may be of it may be a proper fraction it may be improper fraction or it may be a mixed one any sort of num any sort of fraction is considered in a rational numbers and the next one is decimal so the terminating decimal number Terminating decimal numbers are those decimal number which when divided they give a remainder 0. Here we are having few other examples. Suppose we take 2.5, 7.25, 4.5.482 .5 and so on. We also have the condition in which the remainder is never get 0. That is non-terminating but repeating decimal number that is also considered in a rational numbers here we go for non terminating recurring decimal numbers in this one the remainder is never get as a zero but it after some time it uh, repeats itself and on repeating we can write like this we just repeating the three as many time you can write and here we are putting a bar sign this bar sign indicates that 7 to 3 will be repeated again and again. We are going to write 7 to 3 again and again over here to 7 again and again. This was all for the rational numbers. Now we go for the irrational numbers. In this one, very first of all, we take the square root of non-perfect squares. A square root of non-perfect squares includes the numbers such as root 2, root 3, root 5 and so on. So here we are going to find the root of those numbers which are not a perfect square. Then the next one is non-terminating and non-recurring decimal numbers. Here we take non-terminating and non-recurring decimal numbers in which we have taken an example like 2.01001001. So we can't place a bar on it. It will just go on increase with a different order. Here we take 3.1121231234 and so on. And we take one more example that is that is pi. Pi is also considered as a irrational number. Rather, the values of the pi is considered which we know as 22 upon 7 or 3.14. That will be a rational number, but the actual value of pi is a irrational number. That's all in this video.